You're watching Chewing the Cud with my Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. And I said you can do spooky or you can do slutty, so I went for, you know, scrubs with the strip. Anyway, um, why is the lights down? Oh, ah, oh. oh. It's pleasant. What was <laughs> daylight scared you, did it, Lee? No, it was just the illumination, but it's fine. <laughs> oh, okay, if I say someone looking like a cheap Ursula. Um, well, welcome to Chewing the Cud. This week we are once again joined with the piano botherer, Paul Usher. Bonjour. Fresh from bothering a piano. <laughs> Always tinkling the ivories, just hovering, lurking. <laughs> and not forgetting our very own bitch of the East. Lee, what are you bringing us this week? Herpes. <laughs> okay, what are you bringing us this week rather than not every oh, week? <laughs> okay. I'm bringing you the, a, a spooky television programme. Okay. That's coming to the screen soon. Ooh. I should have been like, ooh. <laughs> but it's, it's like, ooh. <laughs> Very camp goes. Yes. Um, I'm so glad I didn't write something on the auto queue that I could then lead into. But on screen now, you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at the Cud TV on social media where you can follow us. The Cud.tv is our website. And on YouTube and podcast services, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as the names of people who have liked, shared or commented on our social media go along the bottom of the screen, we go to Mike and the Buzz. So before I get onto the buzz, you've been digging at me all before we started recording about the scrubs not being scary. Yeah, I'm like, what is it? What's what are going on? Did I never tell you about the gentleman I had that had a nurse fetish who liked to find me in scrubs, pull them down? I mean, and you had a spit and polish. Exactly. <sighs> had to change that GP surgery, didn't you? I did, but. I haven't washed the scrubs. Are those them? These are the scrubs. Nice. Yes, I get the some on them. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and now they're scary, aren't they? You, well, you're not in the right way, but yeah, yeah. It's, still, it's still scary enough. Um, but moving on to actual things we found on the internet rather than porn. Um, <laughs> this is about a, gen a gentleman, a lady, who in America has had a slight issue in a bathroom. Is that a euphemism? No, no, it's an actual <laughs> issue in a bathroom. Um, She's had to try and work out why her walls were bleeding. Sugar walls. <laughs> Sugar walls. <laughs> Do you want to describe what you mean by sugar walls? Sugar walls, you know the Sheena Easton song? <laughs> within my sugar... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, within my sugar walls. Because I remember hearing about that and being like, whoa, <laughs> Sheena, calm down. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give the TV show made a... Reference to it. There's a character called Sugar Walls. Sugar Walls, yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah. So, she lived in the house for 20 years, mm -hmm. and suddenly one night, so like she starts to see the cabinets bleed. Is like, that a euphemism? No, it's not. No, it genuine it's a cabinet in the bathroom. Please. Bathroom, walls, blood. I issue, what, was there a corpse lurking there, a fresh one? You know? <laughs> well, no. Um, when she looked, she's, she had a bit of an investigation, and the blood was pouring between two panels. But it's like, you can see it on the picture. There's a, she's mopped ah. up with a bit of a, a, a jammy rag, shall we say. <laughs> <laughs> you took a deep breath there, Lee. Why did you take a deep breath? I just, I don't like that word. What, jam? Uh, the whole, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, it's very Lady Macbeth of her though, isn't it? It is, yeah. Out damn spot. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you not like the, the jammy rag? It's very coarse. Like she's got jam on a bit of No, rag. yeah, whatever. I don't think it's coarse, it looks porous. Yeah. It was quite soft, like this. I like to refer to them as better fairy hammocks, but that's fine. <laughs> let's come on, let's let's. Oh, you mean menstruation, don't you? Yeah. No, I think it looked like jam on a rag. Anyway, um, it turns out that there was a leak in the walls, and it was actually some of the ceiling putty that had just corroded out. So and is it was that it? Red. That's it. Yeah, it was red. Ooh. No bodies. No bodies. No possessed houses. No, just just bad design. Well, that's disappointing, isn't it? It is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, I was expecting sort of like the King of Scotland, yeah. like head on a stick and things and called. It's in America. They don't oh, have the history. Like, oh, and that's where I left the body of my child. Anyway, um, are you planning on going away at all? Uh, for Halloween. <laughs> for Halloween, for Christmas. Uh, no, I'd love to, but the cost of living has just got me in a little hole crying about having no money. Talking of little holes that cry. <laughs> are you going away at all, <laughs> 
Yes, I am, Mike. Where are you going? I'm going to London. Oh, that'll oh. be nice. I'm going to London to see the Avatars. Oh, Avatars. Is, it? is that still on right now? It's on forever. <laughs> is it really? Yes. When's as long as until that, until that pen drive gives out. <laughs> <laughs> when does it actually it's stop? Tw twice a week, twice a day, in fact. Twice a day. Yep. Okay. Mm, so that's twice where I'm going. Mm. Nice. I'd like um, to go. Well, if you, if you wanted to go somewhere a bit more exciting than to, to London, um, you could go to, to Scotland, oh, wow. where there is a river that bleeds. This is a theme that's running through the buzz today. It's almost like it's Halloween. Liz. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's like blood. A river yeah. that bleeds. Um, is that some, some old piping that's got stuck in there, or any chance? Rough. Is that what it's <laughs> <laughs> No, it's actually they're, they're sacrificing small children at the top. Oh, oh lovely. <laughs> is this in the Balmoral Estate? It is, yeah. How did you guess? Um, no, it's because the, the rocks are very red, so it makes the water look like it's red. Okay. But yeah. Is that, is that it then? That's literally it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm looking for Halloween-y type scary things and a river of blood is quite That's scary. That's quite interesting. Yeah. 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 If, you, if you happened upon it by chance... That would be quite scary. Take the wind out of your sails, wouldn't it? It, it would freak you the f*** out. That's a yes. different way of saying it, yeah. Yeah. You're just staring at the monitor now, Lee. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's 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 all about that story. Great. That's it. Okay. Fab. Fab. Wonderful. Lovely. And if you want to interact with us on social media, it's <laughs> at the Could TV. Um, brings us nicely onto our story of the week. It's bleeding puddle, something like that. <laughs> do you have like an Do you have like an item for story of the week? No. Oh. Can I do that? Can I be the new yeah, item? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I do it? <laughs> Every week I just come back and go, story of the week! Yeah, but in the Halloween, so we're going to have to reference Halloween every week. But we'll do that. We'll do that just for you, Paul. Okay. Um, how do we feel about Hocus Pocus, the movie? Uh, uh, I know you're referencing the second one, aren't you? No. Oh, right, okay. just, just the franchise, both. Uh, good. Good. <laughs> That's probably the right answer, because he gets stabby. You like no, it, it, don't you, Lee? I love it. <laughs> The first and the second Both one. Both of them. Yeah. I've not seen the second one. I haven't seen the second one. Saving it for Halloween. <laughs> no, you don't love it. Because I just do. So you're saving it for now? Yeah, for now. Okay. After the show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm interested to see the second one, yeah. I, I just like the fact that they've all aged horribly. Especially Sarah Jessica Parker. Ooh. She's, she's one of, one of um, Hollywood's actress, Charles, actors. What's in this book? <laughs> The demons, I'm telling you. Um, it's it's gin. that isn't going down the obvious plastic surgery route. <laughs> That's a lovely way of saying it. Isn't it? <laughs> That's a lovely way of saying it. She's kind of like maintaining with a little bit of a <laughs> and a and a, but she's not going full yet. 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 There's going to come a point where she looks like a scrotum, <laughs> and it's not. It's not long. Not long. Anyway, um, you know the the house. The, the witch's house in, in Hocus, Hocus Pocus. Pocus. Yeah. yeah, You could stay there if you so wished. Could you? As, is it not a film set? As it's opened up as an Airbnb. Oh. Mm. If it is a film set, slightly problematic, because it's now an Airbnb. <laughs> is this the, the house that the witches live in, the sisters live yeah. in, or is it the one that the kids live in? Exactly. It's the, the one with the, the witches. Oh, OK. Right? Um, they've, they've got um, cobwebs, they've got old wood furniture, they've got um, green dry ice flowing out from, like, the cold and They're stuff. They're not just some random abandoned house in the middle of nowhere and they've just gone, oh, it's Hocus Pocus house, that, isn't it? No, it's actually... They've, they've built it. Oh, they've built it? Yeah. Oh, so you right. Can stay there. Okay, right. Oh, that's a get commitment. it, yeah, yes. hmm? Building a whole house just to... That's uh, running with a theme. It's running with a theme, right? Um, and it's it's been marketed as being remembered for years to come. Um, and it's one night per person. And it's for a fee of thirty-one dollars. It's what one night per person? 30, yeah, so thirty-one pound, thirty-one dollars oh, okay. per person per night. Right, okay. Idea. Well, that's reasonable. That's, that's reasonable. very, very cheap. It's very, very cheap. Mm. You, might you, not be stay, you might not be staying there on your own. Why? Maybe other people in the mm -hmm. in the building with you. Uh, like a hostel. Is it, <laughs> like <laughs> is it a hostel? Like American Horror Story with SJP. Is it a hostel? Is it a backpacker's refuge? Is that what it is? <laughs> You never There's stayed a bit in of a Halloween hostel. shiz put up. You never stayed in a hostel. Oh, no. <laughs> Have you ever stayed in a hostel? Yeah, oh, I've stayed in many a share of hostels, yeah. They're, yeah. they're good fun can be had no, in a hostel. No, they're not. 
Sleep with your passport under your pillow, frightened for your life. Yeah. <laughs> Am I going to die? Am I going to get gang raped? We don't know. Yeah. Can hope. Your digestion plays <laughs> havoc. <laughs> Am I coming? Am I going? I don't know. Oh, I don't, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> Uh, would you not stay in there then? No. No. You were up for it until you found out it was a chef. If I could fill the entire place with all my friends, so basically <laughs> no, just me. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> fill it with all of my friends. Oh, no, They're not my imaginary. Friend, me. Um, <laughs> then, yeah, but then I don't want to share it with... I want to share it with, you know, like, German tourists. They might be American been tourists. walking and stuff. <laughs> Um, yeah, it'd be interesting, but I'm surprised they've built it for it. Where is it? What, what part of the world is it it's in? America. Okay. So there's guns. There's guns, yeah, there's guns and weapons. and the strangers it, and guns and locked doors. <laughs> <laughs> have we got pictures of the inside of it? No. Oh, half a story as always. <laughs> well, well, we do. We do? We do, but we're not going to show them oh. because you don't want to stay in a hostel. But I'd like to see what it's all from the buzz this week. <laughs> Bitchy queen. Well, thanks for that, Mike. Stay with us after this break. It's Lee and the Showbiz News. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee, Mike and our guest host, Paul Usher. Now let's get ready for the spooky, or shite, Showbiz News. <laughs> Showbiz is a bit spooky this week, because it's Halloween. Oh. Don't know where you guessed. Yeah. Um, we've, got a, we've, got a, we've got a new televisual programme coming onto Netflix. Why are you laughing at me? Because I've just remembered your makeup on. It's like a pastel version of Ursula the Sea Witch. Well, so we, we, had, we agreed that we weren't going to talk about that. We didn't agree that at all. Anyway, let's... I love let's, the word pastels. Yeah. Pastels. Pastels. Pastels, Debbie. Anyway. Um, really? Pastels. Pastels. <laughs> this, that, actually, that's quite a good link, because this is about Wednesday, the new Netflix television programme that's all about Wednesday Adams. Oh, OK. Right. Mm. Yeah, not Wednesday as in the day of the week. Okay. So it's a live action. It's not a cartoon. It's live action. And nice. it's all about... So it's done by Tim Burton, so that's a bonus, because he's always very good at this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and it's the, it's about her kind of life. So the, the Adams family are kind of in it. So her mother and father and, you know, Gomez and Morticia and Pugsley, they're all in it, but it kind of primarily focuses on her and kind of what she kind of gets up to. So we've kind of had, like, the 60s television series. We've had... Adams Family Values is one of my favourite films, I have to say. With mm -hmm. um, Debbie Jelinski, gay icon. And the light. Emma Light. And the light. And the light. The way she's always lit. Oh, okay, Just right. Yeah. direct on the ice. Yeah, yeah so we've got, we've got these, the various incarnations, kind of like the 60s version, then there was kind of like the, the 90s, noughties film versions, and then there was kind of like a, a, an animated one a couple of years ago. Um, so oh. basically what's going to happen is, is that she's, the death obsessed teen and it's kind of like she goes to high school so it's kind of, it's done by the same people that that did smallville uh, from a, quite a few years ago um Ooh, and it's <laughs> i don't know whether there'll be hot boys in it half a story lee i don't it's, it's not makes a smallville i mean clark kent was always taking his shirt off wasn't he exactly and then luther wasn't unattractive and then all of his friends are walking around going oh i'm a bit warm <laughs> <laughs> well perhaps it's perhaps it's for the gay girls and perhaps there's lots of tits in it who knows? Well, if you want to see a massive tits, you can always watch this show. That is true. <laughs> anyway, so Wednesday is a unique mix of fantasy, horror, mystery, comedy. Just a few genres in there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's best described as a coming-of-age series. So it's eight episodes. Oh, it's going to be finger-flicking. And, <laughs> and it follows Wednesday Adams as a, as a student at Nevermore Academy. So it'll be kind of all about her like attempts to Ooh, kind of... Edgar Allan Poe reference there. Is that what it yeah, is? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah, she, so the, what she has to do is try and stop... Uh, um, don't, don't you laugh at me? Um, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing at my obscure references. Yeah, that... Yeah. So, never more, because that's so, what the Raven said next. Apparently, in this... Yeah. Well, you're not listening, so I don't No, we're not. We're just trying to get Doth through as best we can. Door. Yeah, apparently. Apparently. Yeah. Anyhow, so be, she's got... cultural here yeah, talking about. you are. Yeah. Um, so, right. Girls find out how to flick a bean. Play the, play the Doesn't say anything about flicking a bean. You said coming of age. 
Anyway, Catherine Zeta Jones is in it as Morticia Adams. Okay. Um, and um, Narcos actor Louis Guzman is uh, Gomez. So they've taken Gomez back to the actual original way he looked in the cartoons. So in the television program and the films, he was quite suave and quite kind of kind of dashing. But in in the actual cartoons, he's basically like a pig in a wig. So yeah, they're, they're going back to, to that. Uh, and apparently, it is, is reported. Is, is Catherine Zeta going to start cinching? Cinching? Yeah. What's that then? With the waist? With the waist. Well, I don't know. Is she in that picture? Mm. Not so sure. I mm. think that's photoshopped. I love her Instagram. Sorry. She's very. Is she you know, quite? I've active? got an apple for my lunch. And she's really like, oh, and she you know, keeps her chin at a right angle so she looks thinner. I'm a... Uh, is, she, is she doing a Welsh accent, though? <laughs> she? Yeah. Yeah, she does have... Because I watched it and I went, mm. I'm married to a corpse. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that kind of thing. Anyway. She's still alive. <laughs> well, barely. Will she be Welsh in this? <laughs> <laughs> Like the French and Saunders sketch of her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Christina Ricci, who played the uh, yeah. Wednesday in the films, mm -hmm. is going to be in it as an undisclosed new character yet. Very Thursday. excited about that. Thursday, yes. <laughs> Week on Tuesday. Um, <laughs> she, <laughs> that is coming to Netflix at the end of November. Oh. Very exciting, very You'd exciting. you think it'd be Halloween, wouldn't you? I was going to say, yeah, just in time for Halloween. <laughs> just in time oh. for Christmas. Christmas, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, watch that. I will be watching it. I bet now. the soundtrack's going to be a good. I bet it's yeah. going to be like, kind of moody, indie Lana Del Rey, like, oh, yeah. oh I've, I've got social anxiety, I'm a teenager, who's got really good music. Who's the one that breastfed a pig? <laughs> David Cameron. <laughs> no, he f***ed a pig. Tori Amos. He was Tory something. <laughs> <laughs> On the cover of a, a cover of a magazine, folks. The cover of a magazine, yeah. Um, that kind of stuff, yeah. Um, so next bit of showbiz news. Uh -huh. Right, we've talked about Hocus Pocus two. Roughly, kind of the house that there. Yeah. There was a Texas mum. She is warning us that watching Hocus Pocus two mm -hmm. could open the gates of hell. In your living room. Ooh. So she's a, she, this Texas mother has urged families that watching Hocus Pocus 2 could open the gates of hell and invite evil spirits Is that into her? the home. That's her. Well, she's she opened them. She's she... very well lit. <laughs> she? Floodlights. Out. She's called Jamie Gooch. And I like that name. <laughs> Does she smell funny? I don't know. Not met her. Is she pierced? Um, Pierced Gooch? Pierced I don't Gooch. know. I'm not sure. So she's 33. She's from Troy. I'm oh, assuming that's in America, not... You know, like Troy the Iliad. <laughs> <laughs> Establishment. Well, she's um, got views from back then, hasn't she? Well, well, what she's saying is that she, she said, don't let your children watch this because um, th what they're saying, the kind of like potions and spells and stuff that they do, mm -hmm. you don't actually know if they're real or not. They could generally be... Um, she said, the whole movie is based on witches blood-sacrificing children, which is always a bonus in my eyes. Um, she said, she's literally on the verge of tears, it grieves me, the thought of exposing our kids to darkness. Oof. She's like, turn Hocus Pocus off and go and watch Harry Potter. Yes, that wonderful example. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, she's, she's, not, she's not happy with me. This is a bit, obviously, Hocus, Hocus Pocus 1, Hocus Pocus 2. Oh, they've not aged that much. No. I mean, to be fair, that is a lot of... <laughs> airbrushing um, she, said, do, she said do not watch this film everybody thinks it's fake and innocent but they could be casting any type of spell that they want anything could be coming through that TV screen in your home so you just sat there and then you turn and your children have turned into frogs <laughs> like oh I have any kids I'm alright <laughs> she seems more of a danger than Hocus Pocus to be fair mm. I say, but she said anything could come through a TV screen Chris Hemsworth anything. with John yeah, Teller. Anything, completely, yeah. It's, it's just a risk Let that you're willing to take. Like TV. <laughs> <laughs> She's a conservative Christian. Really? Was, I'm surprised I'm, well, that I'm a shocker. I thought uh, she was going to be a liberal atheist from the way she was she saying runs, things like that. She runs a farm with her husband. Mm -hmm. um, and she said they haven't celebrated Halloween for four or five years. Uh, however, they celebrate the harvest each year. That's, which is, is pagan. Um, well, they're all... But Halloween, or All Hallows' Eve is the day before All Saints Day. Yeah. And yeah. so is actually recognised in the Christian calendar. So I don't know why she's not. She's not being a very good Christian at that point. No. Just saying Well, she's, she has her own Facebook account, should you want to go and look at it no. with her. Um, however... We're not, we're not even going to mention I'm not going to mention it. But no. we got a elite photograph taken in secret when she didn't think anybody was watching. So she did that kind of Facebook Live thing. Mm -hmm. And then this picture cropped up. Which I think she's lying. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Yeah, she I think she protests too much. Did she always have the buck teeth? 
Or has that been done afterwards? I, I don't know. You know, I think she's just a bit jelly um, of it all. Anyway, bless her. Um, no, don't bless her. Perhaps. Yeah. Well, because she's not thought about this, because if, you know, the gates of hell open up, hell is known for being fiery. And there's a cost of living crisis on right now. Just Toasty. Mm. Exactly. Toasty. It will. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, that's her done and dusted. Mm -hmm. You were a fan of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, weren't you? I was a fan of the men in Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, the men who... Are you, are you of an age of Buffy the Vampire Slayer? It's kind of bypassed me, yeah, I don't know. You're going to say like I was like three, aren't you? Well, like toddler. yeah. But, yeah. No, you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lie! <laughs> <laughs> there, is, there is a new stage show coming called Buffy Revamped. Okay. okay. So it's... It, so, Buffy the Vampire Show originally aired from March 1997 yeah, yeah. to 20th of May something, 2003. Something, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't um, need to actually name the years. All right. So, Sarah Michelle Gellar played Buffy Summers, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. So, there is, we've got a picture of the book. That's, that's the original cast. Um, ah, no, which it's one not the original cast. Is it not cast. the original? Oh, here no. we go. Poindexter alert. Okay, who is, what cast is this then? So, this is season four. He was a soldier, wasn't he? The one in the middle. Well, he was a student, a teaching assistant, who also was a, a, a soldier, and they corrupted his um, DNA with um, demon stuff. It's a casual viewer, were you? Just <laughs> switched it on. Um, <laughs> they were all buff as hell. The little vamp, the little werewolf dude, wasn't he? Was, no, no, he was still ripped. Was he? Yeah, yeah, he was slighter. He had swimmers build. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. And then he had Angel. David Baranis, mm -hmm. that in that. Oh, yeah, 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 wasn't he? Anyway. He's not in that, though. Enough of, your, Stuart Head. enough of your childhood fantasies. So now you can go and see a new show called Buffy Revamped. It's created by comedian Brendan Murphy, whose last show was Friend, the one with Gunther, which received the Best Play in the Worldwide Comedy Awards. I think he might have made that one up. <laughs> um, so basically, what it is, is... Um, he brings all 144 episodes mm -hmm. of the series told through the eyes of Spike, who was the, like, vampire character. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's funny, satirical, and with bursting with 90s pop cultural references, it's a perfect parody for Buffy and if you... Uh, Demon. Yeah. Buffy aficionados and those who never enrolled at Sunnydale High alike. Anyway. <laughs> the end of this week's showbiz news. Thank you for that, Lee. Thank you for reminding me that I used to. Anyway, stick around as coming up, we have our game of the week. You're watching Chew in the Cud. This week, we're going to play a game of putrid pictionary. And this one is for our very own putrid person, Lee. So off you wobble. Did it again, rude. I did, Day you're right. Again. Game of the week. Okay, we're going to we're going to be playing as it's Halloween, putrid pictionary. So, I'm going to be drawing or attempting to draw. Very famous. Are we Halloween? Are we ho horror film fans over there? No. 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 <laughs> okay. Makes us um, great. <laughs> I like a thriller. You like yeah. a thriller? Thriller. Well, unfortunately, I'm not going to draw any thriller characters, the horror film characters. Well, I, Should I like we... the fact you've got uh, an effigy of Sarah Jessica Parker on the side of Oh, you shade. What? Anyway, they're all on ghosts. Look. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. And you have a boyfriend. <laughs> okay, I'm going to start with the first one from a very famous film. Okay. So... Uh, uh, Krusty the Clown. <laughs> um, oh, we're not. The Joker. Um, it is not, no. Uh, the. Oh my god. Um, the Wicker Man? No. Um, they all float. The Exorcist? No. It. It is! Oh. Pennywise. The Clown. Wow. Wow. <laughs> choices. Are you ready for the next one? Yeah. Okay, right. If I said no, what would you do? I'd just still carry on anyway. <laughs> Crocodile on <Dundee. laughs> Oh, was oh, Mike Myers. Mm, Mike no. Myers, the Halloween guy. Oh. <laughs> it 
It's um, Freddy Krueger. It is. Oh, yeah. That's what I meant. <laughs> of course it is. I was just like, uh oh. I'm not letting you in because you're the guest. <laughs> so don't. don't. You know. not I want a challenge. Good. Is that a mouth? Is that two? It's a wide face. Uh... That's child's play. Chucky. Is it? Is no, it? it's not. Oh. Is it not? Oh. I've already guessed, so I can't guess what I was going yeah, to guess that you may have already used as a guess. Uh, the Exorcist. Mike Myers. Oh, right. It was Mike Myers. Michael Myers? It is Michael Myers. From that well-known film, The Exorcist. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween kills again and again and again, yes. again and again and again. They're going to stop that franchise. Yeah. Eventually. It's going to kill everybody on yeah. the planet. Jamie Lee Curtis is like, oh, I need that check. <laughs> okay. Okay, right, okay, next one. Um, they start quite similar every time, don't they? <laughs> um, this one's child play. Is it? And Chucky. It is! It's Chucky! A little happy Never smiley, smiley boy. Oh, no. <laughs> Hi, I'm going to kill you! <laughs> can I say drawing at that angle is quite good? I'm, you know, I'm yeah. what can I say really the talent, when the talent's there? Really um, <laughs> that's the only time you've been referred to as talent. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, the next one. By the time he tried to fix a, a, a stop cock and tried to call himself trade. <laughs> that tongue out there. Uh, I've got this one as well. I don't even know what he's doing. Do, 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 no, do, it's do, not. Do, 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 do. Is it not? No. Oh, oh it's not the Nightmare Before Christmas. That's what I was saying, but he says it's not. Hmm. Oh. Liza with a Z. <laughs> <laughs> it's fat Liza. It is not Liza. It is not Fat Liza. It's um, Hellraiser. It is, but what is the name of the character? Pinface. It is Pinhead. Pinhead Never hurts. Hellraiser, Pin, Pin. Never. You're too young. <laughs> there is a new one out. Is there? And um, Pinhead is, is being played by um, a trans actor. Oh. Okay, the next one. Oh, okay. Um, Oi! Casper. No. <laughs> uh, uh, is that a crown? Um, uh, oh, What's he in Gilbert Grape? Uh, oh, you've got a nasty gash on your hand, Lee. I have, haven't I? Uh, it's some kind of prom queen, isn't it? What's that? Oh! Carry. It is. Mm. I, I misread the card when I thought it said Casper. Because <laughs> you're putting them down face up so I can read what they say. <laughs> oh no, I'm going to have to. I, I will. Carry. Carry. And it's a Stephen King book, isn't it? Yeah. What's, what's, what happens? Um, she gets pig blood dumped on her by the popular girls and then she goes on a murderous rampage. Ah, but like Heather's. Yeah. Yeah. Bit. <laughs> now, this Bit. one you might not get. Because we can't see the card anymore. <laughs> Bend it back. Uh, mm. Sad girl. Um, it's the tongue action again. Is that an ass? Oh, she's trying to get good TV signal. You yeah. cock a doody. You cock a doody poop face! That means nothing to me. <laughs> no. Nope. What? I was doing better when I could read the cards. You cock a doody. Yes, that's what she doesn't swear. You cock a is doody. This misery. It is! Ah, yes. Yes. I didn't get that cock a doody thing. I just went, that looks a bit like Kathy Bates. <laughs> it is Kathy. <laughs> what can I say? When, it's the in that movie, did they say cock a doody? She's, she doesn't swear in it. Does she say cock a doody? Yeah, she, she, yeah so she says those words because she goes, you. Poophead! Because <laughs> I can imagine her restraining her murderous anger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. 
Um. Jack and Jill. Um. That does look like a well, doesn't it? It does look like a well. Oh, it's the ring. <laughs> the ring. But I must have the name of the character, for that is the film that, that it comes from. Isn't she just... But she girl. has a name. She has a name, goddammit! Yeah, that they mentioned once as they're going through medical records. I don't no, know it's very well known. Hold on, is that meant to be a television? It's just yes. coming out of the well. well. Oh, right. Well, here's what's the film that where she comes out of the television. It's The Ring. It's the oh, same right. one. Okay. Nice is just coming up on its own. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to get kind of a point because it is The Ring. She's called Samara. Beckworth. Sam <laughs> 90s it girls have got to have a future. <laughs> oh, okay. days after watching right, the eternal okay. ring. You just send a text. <laughs> you just send a text, it'd have been much easier. Uh, can we have um, uh, The Shining. Um, uh, spending a lot of time on the angry face. Angry man. A leg in the air. Are those abs? No, oh, there's ri they're ribs. They're ribs. <laughs> <laughs> On track mind. Um, I mean, he's got a cape, superman -y, uh, villain -y. Things flying around, things flying around out of him. Shit cape. Shit cake? I'm trying to think, you know, he's got, he's that got a well cake. Famous, That yeah. well-famous horror film character. The shit flies cake. hanging around, he's got a They're cake. not flies. I thought you said they're, flies. They're bzzz. They're bees. Bees. Can't say his name. In the mirror. Lord of the bees. <laughs> Michael Flat. <laughs> um, Lord of the bees? No, he can't say his name three times. Otherwise he'll stab the shit out oh. of you in the mirror. You can't say his name. Be not be oh, Beetlejuice not as it comes up. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Can't uh, say it again, people. I didn't mean to do that. I got overexcited, so. Um, Are you giving up? Um, yeah, we're giving, but, I'm giving up. But, oh, I don't know. It's Candyman. I wouldn't have got that. Candyman. Candyman. What's that? You remember that Netflix program that was meant to be for Halloween or something? The, the title character's now become like an LGBT icon. The Babadook. The Babadook. Well, we've managed to get through that endurance sport. <laughs> Talking of things that we have to get through, we have to get through Crafty Queens. I apologise for Crafty Queens in advance. I'm intrigued even more now. No, just no. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now we have a special spooky rendition of the shit show that is Crafty Queens. Really love death. Oh my god, every year at the same time that happens. What you declare your love for Dick? Mary loves Dick. I don't know what happens. Anyway, oh. Yeah. Possessed by a demon. Um, it's creepy crusty queens, because for it is Halloween. Uh-huh. You can tell by the Ooh. by the pumpkin and stuff. Yeah. Ooh. So we're gonna make I was playing along with it. I refuse to, <laughs> I was refuse to free the team. <laughs> What's Candy. We need candy at Halloween, don't we? Sweets. We need sweets. Yeah. So, but we want a receptacle to keep those sweets. Now, what I thought, we could have used a bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I could have revisited the bowl from a bowl because I knew that was your favourite one. But no, we're going to make we're going to make a bat full of sweets. Oh, okay. Full of sweets. Oh my God, I know. So, in front of you, you should have um, a toilet roll holder that I have pre-painted black. I've got a toilet roll, not a toilet roll holder. Well, toilet roll. Okay, and what I want you to do is on one end of the um, uh, of the toilet rolls, I want you to push in at the the tips. Just the tip. Just the tip until <laughs> it goes to the centre. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then the kind of sticky outy bits there. Yeah. You're gonna put a bit of glue on either side, and then you're gonna fold that glue, fold those in, so that it sticks and it creates a base. Okay. I'm all about that base. I've already, I've already done I, it. I've <laughs> You've got that. 
Now, I'm using a hot glue gun, because so this will, will, may well go horribly wrong. Because you like... Um, You might need a second or two to. Ah! He does it. See, that's why he does it. Uh, it that's hurts. Good. Why does it hurt me? It's burning hot molten glue. Oh, we don't use glue guns because we're not crazy. Oh, this this glue looks a bit cummy. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. It looks like jizz. Now you might have to hold it for a second or two because your glue is a little bit takes a little bit more to solidify. It's not very good, this glue, Lee. Do you know, it's just the idea, Mike. Just, just <laughs> oh, well, it's the idea of glue, that's just, fine. I'm going to use the idea of Chris Hemsworth. To, yeah. It's fine. As long as, as long as you've got, like, a, you know, a base that, that, you know, the sweets won't fall out of, that's fine. It's fine with me. Okay. Okay, right. The next thing you're going to do is um, you're going to add some yeah, googly eyes to the... To the, to the, to the um, <laughs> To the oh, front oh, of your, so you want to turn it back so that the open end is facing up and attach with your glue, your googly eyes to... <laughs> this is not secure. It's not secure, but yeah. Well, apparently we're going to stick more stuff on. <laughs> and for comedy, for comedic value, one of the googly eyes is bigger than the other. I don't know why. Just is. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Are you a fan of Halloween, Paul? Yes, I love sweets and I love scaring people, so it's the perfect occasion, isn't it? <laughs> um, and also, to dress any, up as a giant zombie cat. Any excuse to go to, like, you know, sink the pig shirtless, isn't it? Because we never oh. do that. We never, ever do that. Well, sink I the, don't, but that's for a very different reason. <laughs> sink the pink is no longer with us, is it? Oh, no. There'll, there'll be someone else that rips it off, though, won't they? Yeah. Once you've stuck your eyes on... Then I've provided you with some vampire bat teeth. Yeah, yeah. Again, stick those on. <laughs> That's a bat noise. Actually, bats don't make that noise. They go. <laughs> they what make... noise do bats make, Lee? That kind of high-pitched noise. Do you know what? If you have bats living in your house, you're not allowed to get rid of them. Really? Yeah. yeah. They've got to stay there forever. Well, they've got squatters' rights. With you they're always. endangered species. Oh, really? You've got to invite them to Sunday lunch, all that kind of stuff. I might just call myself a bat and move into, like, a nice London penthouse. You can't you can't evict me. I'm a bat. Well, as long as you've got the wings. They're not... That's how, um, they <laughs> That's how uh, Bruce Wayne gets to stay in the big mansion. <laughs> I'm a Batman. Are we? Have, have we got the eyes on and the teeth? Yeah, they're on. Okay, yeah, they're right. On. So next, take your, your wings, which are the blue pieces of card that I fold folded in in half, and with the marker pens that you've got, just give the 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 wings kind of like you know those little lines that indicate that they've got wings. veins, and then glue that to the back of your bat. Can I call my bat Nora? You can. Nora bat it. <laughs> okay, so once you've glued that on, just put it to the side for one minute, just to kind of let it let it stick. Um, and then I have provided you with it with a Kleenex. I'm not that excited. <laughs> and a little bag of sweeties. A little bag of little a little bag of Halloween. <laughs> Oh, la, 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 la. Fruity pebbles? Little bag of fruity pebbles, yeah, Halloween candies. So empty those out into the middle of your tissue. I dropped my balls. Fruity pebbles, I don't like this. Bow on fruity pebbles. On them? Oh! Oh, bad ever bored! I've got a skill this time. So you gather your gather your sweeties up into your little hamper, your little your little ball sack, little ball sack, yeah. Oh, I've stuck my fucking back to the tape. Oh, I've got it. Um, and then you want to in. I think I've done that wrong. Set your ball sack. So right. we're teabagging this battle. Really. <laughs> I think you might have to put your t your tissue in first, 
and then put your fruity pebbles in. Kind of like. I'm not going to bother with the tissue. Just going <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna to put the sweet straight in. Into the top of your bat. Oh, that works much better. Watch them all get glued to the inside. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get the sweet out. And then what you're going to do, because it hasn't got pointy bat ears yet, is to um, pinch... Oh, you might have to eat some sweets because they're quite large, those. Oh, dear. Um, is, um, the word pinch just makes me think of this. Pinch the, like, whores wear rouge marsh, women <laughs> pinch. <laughs> pinch the top of the head so that... <laughs> <laughs> Choking on a skill. So you create the ears. It's because someone's like just his head. <laughs> I'm thinking. Just so he leaves you alone for half an hour. <laughs> Look, a little bow. Plus weights. Uh, I think yours is good. I mean, mine's mine's full of sweets. Mmm. It's like brain is made of. Well, I mean, that's mouth. very Halloween. Yeah. It's very Halloween y. That looks like a shit show. Mmm. It's... Yeah, I'll put the... Just... I just don't think you try sometimes. <laughs> just do it on purpose. That was cute. Anyway, that's that for, for this week's Crafty Queen Halloween special. And remember... My nieces would love that. Do you not like your nieces? <laughs> <laughs> Done something to offend you. Um, <laughs> whatever. Yes. How rude. Anyway, if you can't get yourself any spooky virgine or... Septic Flaggy, peen. <laughs> septic peen. Be a, be a creepy crafty queen. So this this was a, an experience. Mine, mine and Paul's <laughs> look, <laughs> <laughs> look considerably better than yours. Than yours. Cacao? Yeah, it's off bat. something, but I don't know why I was referencing, but it's from that caca is off something. It's off, um... Is it that, that mighty boot? I don't know. No, it's off that, that, f caca. that film where the creatures come out of the grounds. <sighs> Evolution. Sandman? No, I don't know. I've never seen that. And it turns into... Anyway, we I also feel like I could do like Jim Carrey go, it's a goose! A goose! That was very, um... <laughs> sorry, yeah. I've ruined this the segment. end of the show for now. I've ruined this segment, sorry. Um, remember to join us on our social media at The Could TV. Our website is thecud.tv and on YouTube and podcast services. Just search for Chewing The Cud. Thank you for dolly. watching and thank you again for being our guest again, Paul. <laughs> oh, I've loved it. This is jovial, <laughs> the definition. It's always nice when people lie to you, isn't it? Mm. You can find Paul fingering a piano <laughs> at your, your local venue somewhere, I would imagine. <laughs> thank you for watching and we'll see you all soon. Bye. 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 How much do you sh to go through this many toilet rolls? <laughs> <laughs>